Well, Capricorn, there's a lot that you're learning about who you are through your relationships. And it's not going to be necessarily just romantic relationships, but it will be close personal relationships. Venus retrograding in your uh, first house right on top of a Pluto combust the sun. There's a lot of pressure to change and that pressure is predominantly coming through relationships. So any time that you have found, um, so let's put it this way, don't be surprised if you have found that there's a lot of challenges coming up in your relationships they're not they're not bad ones it's it's pushes to make you grow and and change and develop and expand yourself your sense of self also a sense of questioning yourself um feeling sometimes like you're totally being destroyed by who in other words who you used to be is almost like being destroyed in order to keep something going that matters more to you than who you used to be. And I, I'm always a proponent of self-love. This is actually an extension of self-love, which is growth. There's opportunities here for you to grow, develop, and change, especially through the process of um, being with somebody else, working with somebody else, partnering with somebody else, or being in love. So this could also be a very much a time of transformative change in love. And these changes will be sustainable. So what the wonderful empowering aspect is, is that you can see that you have the ability to actually participate in the change instead of it just being forced upon you. Capricorn, this is your weekly tarot card reading for Born Without Boundaries Tarot. It is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising Zodiac signs. Please remember to subscribe to the channel and ring that bell so you can select all notifications and know when I upload your favorite content. I am doing a new giveaway for a um, um, an extra 13th video every single week. And that the winner of that is going to be the person or the, the zodiac sign that buys the most extended readings. I'll tally that up each week. And then I will announce on the winning video the week after who is going to get the free reading and that reading is going to be a live reading with me doing pick a cards for one question answer one card answers i'm going to be just reading for you guys so that i could say thank you so if you guys actually do win i will be announcing it here in your videos and um i'll let you know and only you know the time that that's going to happen um now as we kind of move out of astrology um, and into this channeled understanding of the consciousness in me that you're occupying right now. There is a sense of being hard on yourself once again, which is something that is a pattern in your entire life. If you're not hard on yourself, you don't feel good enough or like you've tried hard enough. But I want to tell you, looking at it objectively, you are enough and you have worked hard enough. And maybe one of the hardest things that you could work on, maybe the biggest challenge that I could set for you right now is to open your heart up to the softer side of work, that work that is more personal and more um, internal, um, that work that is the hard work of allowing, the hard work of letting yourself receive, as well as at least once a day taking a second to give yourself credit for all that you have accomplished. Um, you tend to give yourself a real hard time based on comparison to other people, where you are in specific aspects of the week, like forgetting, like you're tired and you want to take a nap in the, like on a Tuesday afternoon <laughs> or right after you get home from work and you forgot that you worked all weekend, right? You're telling yourself this, this negative self-talk of, this negative self-talk of, oh, I haven't done enough. I haven't, it's not even like Wednesday and I'm already tired, but you're forgetting that you exhausted yourself all weekend doing the lawn or rushing around the kids. And I want you to take some a second, please Capricorn, to actually give yourself the credit that you actually deserve. Um, and you know, I mean, listen, it's okay to work hard and it's okay to push yourself. And you are, like I said, gonna be pushed a lot, learning a lot about what you value and realizing 
realizing that what you value is what you spend time on, nothing else. It's not even what you think about the most. It's where you put your energy. Where do you put your energy? It's almost like you're taking stock of that now, starting to realize that, hey, maybe I haven't been fair to myself in the way that I've been working hard, but I haven't been working hard on what I really care about. I've been working hard on things that other people say I should care about or obligations in general. And that's what's really got a shift in me. No, this is not your reading. I'm just getting into your reading now. So I hope you continue watching. Capricorn, Capricorn. Capricorn, Capricorn. Ooh, what are the messages you got for Capricorn? All right, Capricorn, what do we got? Make your dreams real. Holy moly. So you are spinning. I don't feel like this is being being spun around you, but maybe that, stop, let me, let me say this. There, it could be like you're feeling like you're in somebody's web, like you're in somebody's trap, or like you don't have as much control as you want. You're feeling, what you're feeling is the connectivity of everybody. And that is actually a blessing, but I understand how it could feel like somebody is pulling your strings. It's actually a great asset to know um, who is pulling your strings and who is influencing you the most, because it's something that now you can have once you have the clarity and the consciousness of you can alter, you can change. Um, you are working very, very hard. And this is a wonderful time to plant those seeds. Um, what you kind of impregnate the ether with now will be birthed into a beautiful, healthy child soon after to follow. Um, you can really set this up for yourself now. So what this card is saying is you're working very, very hard. Um, now this is scorpionic energy. So once again, it's transformative energy. Five plus six adds up to 11. Awakening to an awareness of just how much you influence. Just how much you influence. Um, and then we have set healthy boundaries. Yeah, okay. All right. You've heard of the power of saying yes. Well, you also every once in a while got to say no as well. This is Cancerian energy, so it could be dealing with family, something with family matters. Um, basically feeling like you have eight legs and you're being pulled all different ways. Um, in some ways because you want to be, because that's what gives you a sense of value. The fact that other people need you. Conversely, however, that also takes a lot of energy away from things that you would want to put your focus on. So it's almost like saying, listen, I know you got these dreams. I know you have these aspirations. I know you have these personal goals. Why haven't you been working on those personal goals? You've been working on everything but those personal goals, filling up your 70 hour a week schedule with all these different things, hands in everybody else's pockets, not like for a giveaway or a give me. No, but like hands in everybody else's stuff. What have you been doing to... What have you been doing to make time for your own, right? Set healthy boundaries is learning how to say no in the appropriate places and what kind of no that you mean. Like sometimes no can be go fuck yourself. There's no fucking possible way. And another time is I'm really sorry. I I'm exhausted. I don't have the time right now. Sometimes a no is, you know, I would really like that. Um, can we talk about it in a couple weeks? Because right now I've got my hands full. And sometimes a no is no. You know, there's different no's. <laughs> it's like learning, learning, first of all, that you're empowered to be able to say no, having to say no, especially if you feel now like you've lost control and you're being, you're being manipulated, your strings are being pulled. This is a time for you to avoid the next step, which would be bitterness. Um, and I'm not saying that like shaking my finger at y'all. I'm just saying it like, like this is how you avoid the next step or getting bitter is by sticking up for yourself and saying, I don't like, 
I don't like the vibe here. I don't like the way this feels. This feels like I'm being pulled in ways that I don't want to be pulled or being asked to do things I don't feel comfortable doing. Empower yourself to stay up, stand up for yourself and say that. And then we have slow and steady wins the race. Mm -hmm. That's also Cancerian energy. Um, that's also Cancerian energy. There's a lot of fourth house energy going on right now with you. Let me see. Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, Aries. What's going on in Aries? I know Mars is still in Sagittarius. You could be hankering to um, mm, go travel to see family. If family is at a distance from you, especially, or somebody that you consider family. It could make you be feeling like, wow, I've got all this, and now I'm, now I'm, now I'm actually being torn cross seas or overseas or cross country or something like that. But ultimately what this is saying is baby steps are what's going to get you where you want to go. Um, you don't have to do this all at once. Um, and maybe because you don't have to do it all at once, you keep taking on extra projects, extra projects, and you're doing a lot of things and you're committing yourself to a lot of things over time. God, you don't have to carry all that weight. Slow and steady wins the race. This is about emotional stability. Are you guys in counseling or therapy of some sort? Because this is also a sense of your working of how to set, set your boundaries, set healthy boundaries, take care of yourself, get something into a healthy place. This is also a very productive card. A card that says, listen, this is going to take, don't, don't look at the time it's going to take. Don't set a value for how much time it should take. Just take time. Just let it take its own time. Let it go at its own pace. And then we have time to let go, which is scorpionic energy. Of letting go of those things that are really bothering you. You got to get something off your chest. Ooh, you got to get something off your chest, Capricorn. And with the spider present, it could mean that you have to write it, you have to journal it, or you have to say it. But you do have to get it off your chest in words. Um, now, maybe you're not ready to yet, but you're getting yourself prepared to be able to say it. Or you can feel a vibration of something is coming. Let's see. There is always enough. This is Piscean energy. Now, Piscean energy means simply this. There's a lot of water energy here. We have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So a lot of this is very emotional work for you. Cracking into emotions that you may not have been prepared to really feel or really deal with. Or that you feel like in some way somebody is being emotionally manipulating with you. And ultimately have to start saying a firmer no. Boundaries are extremely important in situations like that. This is a very emotional uh, period. But there is always enough means that there is enough love in this situation to for it to continue. Even if it's almost like it's almost like a... A decision of will at this point, Capricorn. Like, um, I'm doing this because I'm deciding to do it. I'm not doing this because it's easy. And I'm not doing this because I'm making a whole hell of a lot of money doing it. I'm, I'm doing this because I know it's worth committing to. And I know there's enough there to make it worth it. To be given something back. Um, now, Piscean energy, let's get to it. Pisces is Capricorn's third house, right? Capricorn... Um, yeah, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, Aries. Am I skipping somebody? No. <laughs> um, so Capricorn is your natural third house or your first, uh, based on your first house position in Capricorn, it would be, um, Pisces is your third house and what's happening with that and even if you're not a first house Capricorn this energy would still impact you because it sort of radiates. So, um, What's happening in Pisces is Neptune and Jupiter are there. And Jupiter is going to be with Pisces essentially the whole year. And it's a beautiful place, right? And it's it's really about soul searching when Jupiter goes into Pisces and allowing us to think outside of the box and realize that we don't have any limitations. This could be very uncomfortable for you. And as the nodes shift, because right now Jupiter is, is squaring both nodes. So in your house, what's happening is there's a square 
square between Jupiter and the North Node, Jupiter and the South Node. And what that is, whenever planets are squared with nodes, it means that there's a check-in. There's a check-in on have I done my best con to connect myself to the energy of this planet, to be optimistic, to speak with love, to listen, to participate, but also expand and grow and look at the higher picture, the larger picture, the bigger picture. It may not be what I'm comfortable with, but ultimately, or it may not, it may have been more difficult for me. Hmm. So something is challenging your optimism. And for me, that is, is almost like somebody going away or somebody needing distance from you. And it's going to be difficult or you perceive it's going to be more difficult for this person to speak with you or talk to you because third house is about communications. So it's almost like you're having to make adjustments to speak to somebody in diff a different way. This could be through Zoom. This could be through text message. This could be feeling like you're really going to miss somebody. But at the same time, this is actually opportunity opening up because their experience can easily be shared experiences if you allow yourself to grow. This could also be metaphoric for somebody's very different perspective on life, right? This optimism, this, this ability to um, see outside of what's, what's natural, what's normal, what's given, um, what's perceived as real, and allow yourself to dream, broaden and expand your dreams. So you're really being challenged to share your dreams, to talk about your dreams, dreams to um, um, find a way to communicate your dreams and to put like pen and paper or write them down you're being challenged to actually take the next step to communicate what it is that you have sort of been like these amalgamations in your mind what you have been creating internally Slow and steady wins the race. This is something for you to nurture. It is something that's going to be difficult. It's going to challenge you. It's going to allow, you have to allow it to transform you because this is, this process as you work towards your goals is supposed to transform you. You're not supposed to be the same person when you come out the other side. And that could be one of the hardest lessons for you right now is letting go of who you've already defined, letting go of who you've already become comfortable being right let's get into more cards power power self-worth Compassion. I am balance is in reverse and then wings of light. So there is definitely a sense of feeling out of balance. Feeling out of balance. This card always reminds me of Capricornian energy. You know, this this sense of I will protect. I will protect somebody. I will care for them by protecting them. But ultimately, somebody in your life is feeling like this is a little bit out of balance. Your ability to protect them, but they want to protect you. Um, this compassion, self-worth, compassion for yourself. Uh, deeper, stronger understanding of, of yourself and what you deserve will make you maybe start realizing that somebody isn't trying to control you. They're trying or attempting to take care of you. And then we have power. Power, I love this card. He has power because he knows himself. He's earned everything that he is. So he carries his arrows on the back, on his back. He's ready to go to battle, but he doesn't have to. He walks into every room with a peaceful flute, playing music. Music, right? Music is something that he's allowing other people. He's, he's welcoming other people. He's not walking into the room defensive. He's walking into the room open. Why? Because he has strength. He has courage and he has, he's self-assured. He has a sense of self, but this is what you're struggling with. This sense of self feeling if I don't walk into the room, appearing, showing my power, showing my muscles, showing my arrows, then then people aren't going to think I'm powerful. But that's not where power comes from. You ever hear... You ever hear of that a discussion, like, um, you ever hear that the, if you want to know who the alpha is in the room, look at the one person, look at the person who's sitting quiet and peaceful and not trying to impress anybody? 
it's not like they're ignore, ignoring people. It's not like they're trying, trying to be separate, but they don't have to impress anybody. The person with the big show, the person with the big, you know, the, like the big demonstrations banging their chest, that's not the alpha because the alpha doesn't have anything to prove. Right? So that's kind of what it is, is owning yourself and knowing yourself so securely. But there's a struggle here, right? Self-worth of feeling like you're, like you're valued or feeling like you have value. There's a great deal of compassion here. So this is also Cancerian energy out of balance. There's something out of balance. Mm, what is this out of balance here? Okay, predominantly what's out of balance is how much you want to give versus how much you're willing to receive. How much you're willing to be cared for. Hmm. Let me see. Who is this person? Let me see a little bit. A little bit more. Capricorn. Capricorn. The waiting game, recognition and reward, and material harvest. Mm. Okay, so where you stand right now, you're waiting for somebody to acknowledge how much you've contributed to the abundance in a situation. And therein lies the primary heart of the struggle between you and somebody else. A sense of, but do you value what I am contributing? Do you really value what I'm contributing? Because there does seem to be this sense of, um, I'm waiting. I'm waiting because there's always also this sense of, but look what I give you. Look what I provide. Look what I do around you. But that's not what you're talking about is it what you're talking about is but how much time do you spend with me how much time do you give me um, or somebody is waiting to be recognized through time spent with each other and not necessarily presence or what what i've purchased um let's go to tarot i will see you guys the link is below